I'm Marcia Kramer. I'm the political reporter here at Channel 2, and I have had a crazy week, but then again, almost all my weeks are crazy. This one may be a little bit crazier because it's a six-day week for me because I had to start working on Sunday, New Year's Day, because the new governor of the city of New York, the first female governor to be elected, Governor Kathy Hochul, was inaugurated, and I had to cover the inauguration. But that was just the beginning. The next day, I had to do a story about a new bill that went into effect about the human composting of remains. I know it sounds really weird, but we were able to interview people about whether they would make the choice to have their bodies composted instead of buried or cremated. Forget the cemeteries and the crematoriums. Now New Yorkers can choose a greener option and have their bodies composted. Is that a joke, actually? No, no, it's a real bill. The governor signed it into law. I would rather be composted. Really? Return to the earth. Make the some use of this body. It was a really interesting story, a little bit on the kooky side, but really fascinating. The next day, I found myself in Washington where I was trying to find out whether George Santos was actually going to be sworn in as a Republican congressman from Long Island. Congressman Santos, Congressman Santos. I went to Congressman George Santos's new office, but the door was locked, the mail uncollected. It's not that Santos didn't try to go to the office, but when he saw reporters staking it out, he turned tail and fled. You know, he had a very, very checkered past, making a lot of lies, misrepresenting himself on a lot of things, and he's under investigation by the Nassau County District Attorney, the Queens District Attorney, and the federal government. Whether he actually gets indicted or charged remains to be seen, but there are also calls for him to be investigated by the House Ethics Committee, so we'll have to see where that goes as well. I came back from Washington late at night, only to find myself at a press conference with, guess what, the mayor of the city of New York, who at the very end of the press conference said he was going to go off message, and he ended up attacking his predecessor, Bill de Blasio, saying he left the city in, quote, total disarray. And then, of course, there was another incident during the press conference where, believe it or not, he said he was willing to hire his Republican challenger for the mayoralty, Curtis Lewa, to be the rat czar. Now, Sliwa, who never missed an opportunity to get into the media, immediately rushed to the mayor's house in Brooklyn because the mayor has been given some summonses for rat problems, and he brought a whole bunch of feral cats. He says he's going to establish a, a colony of feral cats right at the mayor's house to try to catch his own rats. Of course, Sliwa says he only wants to be the nighttime rat czar. He doesn't want to do all the bureaucratic work, so the mayor is still going to have to find himself a rat czar at $170,000 a year to try to find out how to get rid of the rats every place else in the city. Um, that was also just the beginning because the next day, the uh, mayor was at a press conference to talk about how he's been making headway in reducing crime, but there was also another development, the president announcing a new position on migrants, and I had to ask the mayor about that. That brings us to Friday where I'm preparing right now for the taping of my Sunday show, The Point with Marcia Kramer, where the mayor of the city of New York is actually going to be on my show. I start off every press conference she's there saying, hey, Marsha, how are you? You know, the other reporters say, I show her favoritism. I, I say, yep, I admit it. <laughs> so I've been spending the morning researching, you know, what's been going on in the city over the past year, and I'm going to ask the mayor a whole bunch of questions. So, you know, one thing I'll tell you, you should tune in to The Point on Sunday at 1130 and see what the mayor has to say. That's my week. What can I tell you? It's always crazy.